Hey guys, question from a reader. How do you use ice tables to figure out the equilibrium concentrations in a mixture? For example, when you put iodic acid into water, how can you tell how much iodic acid, H plus, and iodate ion there is once the system has reached equilibrium? The way that we handle almost all equilibrium problems is with an ice table. ICE stands for Initial Change and Equilibrium. I want you to do the full ICE table for the first few that you try, and if you come up with shortcuts on your own, go for it. But today I'm going to show you the official way to do an ICE table. We have 0.2 moles per liter of iodic acid. That's HiO3, and the equilibrium constant is 0.17. I've written out this particular equilibrium for this. We have iodic acid dissociating into H plus and the iodate ion. You may prefer to write it like this, where the iodic acid reacts with water to give you hydronium and iodate. It's the same thing. Here's what we do. The first row, you usually label I for initial concentration. What's your initial concentration of each species? HiO3 they told us is 0 0.2 moles per liter. We're starting with zero of the products because all we're putting in is a little bit of iodic acid. Now water, technically you should want the concentration of water, but water is a liquid and liquids don't play a role in equilibrium. Only aqueous and gaseous compounds do, so I'm going to ignore that column entirely. So we start with 0.2 moles per liter of this and none of those. What's our change? Well, you start with some of this and you're going to lose some amount. We'll call it x. If we lose x of these, we're going to gain x of these. See how if we get rid of some of this, we have to gain some of this. You are losing iodic acid and gaining iodate and the associated hydronium ion. At equilibrium then, we have 0.2 moles per liter of iodic acid, less some amount. What's that amount? We're going to have to figure that out. Here we start with zero plus some amount, and we have zero plus some amount of iodate as well. So now we have equilibrium concentrations of each species, although there is an x. We're going to have to solve for x ourselves. The way that we do this, is with an equilibrium expression like you've probably already made. We have products over reactants, and remember you use concentrations of only aqueous and gas phase compounds. Ignore liquids and solids. And what you're going to do is plug the equilibrium concentrations that contain X into this equation. H3O plus, the concentration is 0 plus X. Well, that's just X. Iodate concentration is also just X. And your iodic acid concentration is 0 0.2 minus X. Now, they gave us K in the equation. It was 0.17. So we fill that in for K. And it's your job to solve this equation. The easiest way to do that is probably with the quadratic formula. So let me get some, a little more paper out here. I'll keep that where you can see it. What I'm going to do is multiply the left-hand side by the denominator. See how x times x becomes x squared? And I took my denominator and multiplied it on the other side. Multiply that through, you end up with 0 0.034 minus 0.17x. And what I'm going to do is move everything to one side of my equation. x squared plus 0.17x minus 0.034. And this, my friends, is a quadratic equation. You can solve with the quadratic formula, where a is 1. That's the number in front of x squared. b is 0.17. And c is negative 0.034. Now, this is going to take a little bit. But do you remember the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's solving time. x is 
negative 0 0.17 plus or minus the square root of 0 0.17 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times b which is negative 0 0.034 almost ran out of room there 2 times 1 on the bottom negative 0 0.17 plus or minus now I'm going to use my calculator to figure out what this number is yeah, I get that this is a lot of work. 0.17 squared minus 4 times 1 times 0 0.034 negative. I end up with this, and I'll take the square root of it to give me 0 0.406 all over 2. So, this is going to give me two answers. I'll do plus, then minus. So, 0.17, negative 0.17, plus 0 0.406, divided by 2. If I use the plus, I get 0 0.118. If I use the minus, negative 0.17, minus 0 0.406, divided by 2, I get negative 0 0.288. So, it x is either one of these numbers. What you'll notice in our ice table is that we can't lose negative 0.288 moles per liter of iodic acid. We can lose 0.188 moles per liter of iodic acid because we started with 0.2 and that's less than that. That's not a valid answer. This is, which means x is 0.118 moles per liter. Thus, the equilibrium concentration of each species is, let's see if I can arrange all these so you can see them all, which I can't. Oh, well. Equilibrium concentrations of each species of HIO3, or iotic acid, the equilibrium concentration is 0.2 minus x. What I'm hearing is 0.2 minus x. That's 0.118. That leaves me with 0.082 uh, moles per liter. My equilibrium concentration of H3O plus is just x. So my equilibrium concentration of H3O plus is just x. And my equilibrium concentration of iodate is also just x. IO3 minus is also just x. These are my equilibrium concentrations, which I got from my ice table after I solved for x using the quadratic formula. Now, there are certain techniques you can use to simplify this equation, or rather, this equation that will prevent you from having to use the quadratic formula. I'll show one of those in a later video called the rule of 100. But in the meantime, get used to doing it this way because long, long story short, eventually you'll have to use the quadratic formula to solve one of these. Best of luck.